Tonight, we're going to use as a subject, we're living in the last days. Uh, we're living in the last days. Uh, we're coming out of uh, 2 Timothy 3. I've preached this sermon. I've, I've, I've taught it in many different uh, ways. And tonight, we're going to come again with this on tonight. 2 Timothy, uh, Timothy 3. 2 Timothy 3. Here Paul reminds us, or reminds Timothy uh, about the false teachers and, and those that reject God for their own purposes. You know church folks, <laughs> how we do. We come to church and we, we invent rules to govern folks by how we feel they ought to be, how they ought to dress, how they ought to sing, how they ought to act. Sometimes we just need to to read this, this scripture tonight to know what time it is. Uh, we're living in the last days, so we, we need to be more courteous, more uh, uh, lovers of one another. Uh, Amen. Not, not a sensual love, Amen. but a godly love, showing one another set, uh, respect. Uh, Paul, Paul writes this letter, he, he, he exalts Timothy in the first verse. He says, this know also that in the last days, perilous time shall come. Now, when Paul wrote this was a long time ago. And we've been living in the last days for a long Amen. time. Amen. After a while, it sounds like a, a cliche. Because I heard it when I was a little child, but I didn't fully understand that people are getting worse and worse. Um, societies are getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. As we get closer to the Revelation, uh, the book of Revelation, we're going to see some changes in our societies and the norms. Uh, and truly, we have seen a lot of change since the pandemic happened. Everything that we call normal uh, is abnormal now. Right. Um, and we are living in a, what they call a new norm. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, we have to do things that to take precautions uh, uh, that we don't spread viruses and now we've learned how viruses are spread and, and so now we're getting shots and we are doing different things to try to extend our lives as well as our brother man lives uh, so we we need to know what time it is i think sometimes people forget that life ain't long Amen. you know if you've made it to 100 if you've made it to to 90 or 80 or 60, even 50 now, even 30 now. Yeah. But young people are going away from here yeah. a, a lot. Yeah. Uh, whether you're paying attention or not, yeah. best rental home, monogram is full. Uh, rice rental home sometimes be full. And, and I know I pass by hallway every day, and it's got five or six names up there. Yeah. And you be like, where all these folks come from? You need to be asking where all these folks go from. <laughs> so we need to we need to be mindful of what time it is. And then he says he had said, For men shall be lovers of them own selves. Uh, Y'all ever met anybody who was like that? Didn't care about nobody else's feelings? Amen. Nobody else's belongings. Uh, they just they just need what they need right now. I was at the gas station today, I saw a lady, she was two cars behind me, the lady pulled up to the gas tank in, in front of her. And, and she began to ask the question, where you going, lady? She didn't know that lady, but she was impatient. She didn't want to wait. The lady was going to, to attend to her business at the gas, at, with the gas attendant. And so we, we meet people like that, and we, we ride by people like that. You, you pull in front of them, or you get, get in front of them in, at Walmart, or in line, or at the, at the cafeterias that we, restaurants that we go to. If, if somebody wants to call out your name and tell you to come to the front, somebody in the back got something they want to say. You know, uh, we, we, we need to learn how to be more courteous uh, and, and, and think about the needs of others than ourselves. Uh, we, we, it's, it comes a time where we got to think about ourselves. But we, we shouldn't think about our own selves all the time. We need to think about somebody else Amen. and how to help other folks. Then he says here, uh, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covenants, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. What other time that we living in that we don't face with all the time? We're not faced with all of that stuff. You can't even say that to the little children now. Not long the adults. 
But he messed around and said something to the little children. He'll pull the pants up. They'll cuss you out. Yes, they just unhold it. Right. They don't forget about God. Folks in, what, what, either they rejected God or folks ain't taught them God. Yeah, man. You know, so, so we need to know that that's the time that we're living in and we help people. Yes. Sometimes they are unthankful. Right. Uh, they don't even thank you. They turn their nose up and keep on going. Uh -huh. I see it all the time. Uh, right by the mission and they be handing out food. Very seldom you see people or hear people say thank you. Yeah. You know, they're on their way with going to do whatever they're going to do. But it, 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 it behooves mm -hmm. us to, when people help us along the way, to say thank you. Yeah. It says, without natural affection. Huh? And we see people in need and we don't feel sorry for them. Huh? Y'all ever thought about the ones that's on the roadside? Yeah, some of them scam. And some of them need some help. Yeah. So we have to let God's Holy Spirit tell us what and how to help people. It's not all the way you can give them money. It's not all the way that you can feed them, but you might can say something nice to them. Just a gesture. I, I passed by a man in the morning time sometimes, and he'd be standing on the corner. Never gave him money. Never gave him money. And he says, hello. I said, well, hey, how you doing? All right. And like Jim Reed, I pull up. He says that I like every, just about every one I, I stop. And, and, and so I just speaks to him. Right. Now, that, that might be helping him. I don't know. Uh, but the Lord had hit me and give him no money. <laughs> 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 I let the Lord lead me and move to help in, in that fashion or that way. Yeah. And he never asked for food or anything. So uh, I just speak to him. Speak, yeah. be, be courteous to the folks. Yeah. Uh, then he says, uh, Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fears, despiser, the despiser of those that are what? Y'all ever had somebody try to pull you down just because you got a raise? Amen. Uh, on that job, you got promoted. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or you might have you might have led a song at church or did a prayer and somebody had something uh spiteful to say to you later, or you didn't say it to you. What difference do it make? Well, huh? Right. What difference do it make? Or oh, you change the song. What difference do it make if it's giving others to God? Come on, leave folks alone. Hey, they don't do what they do. Hey, because if God has inspired them to do what they do, and they have a zeal about doing what they do, let them do what they do. Yeah. Now you can give some obstructive criticism uh, to help, not to bring down. Mm -hmm. right. Not to make them want to sit down and go in the corner somewhere. And sometimes when we don't do it the right way that God has showed us how to do it, when we, when we yeah. put people down, or we talk to them a certain way in church, or we greet them a certain way that's not godly in church, it makes them not want to come. That's why people all of a sudden just stop coming, because somebody that said something yeah. to, to influence them not to be at your church or maybe they might not come to your house anymore. Maybe they stop calling you. You ever got a friend or had a friend that, that just quit calling you? Right. And every time you see them, they be like, hey, how you doing? But they just quit associating with you. It's a reason for it. Yeah. And, and to God, we really to you, uh, we need to try to, to ask God, how am I living? How am I conducting myself? Because we're living in the last days. Uh -huh. And then he says here, uh, incontent, furious, despise of those that do good, traitors, hearted, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. Now this is this this is one that really gets me. Have a form of God. They got their three-piece suits on, got the cologne on, they smell good, and hair all slicked back. <laughs> Ain't nothing but slick back devils. They granted that all the teeth are just white. They done went to the dentist and got it white. And they just granted that you and got nipples and, and y'all just falling out of them. And when you get with them, they ain't nothing the devils. <laughs> because they have a form of godliness. That means they know the word of God. Something look good about them that entices you. But ain't no God in them. They have a form of godliness. They, they look like angels, but they're devils. Wow. 
So we have to be careful how we entertain uh, some people because they, they have no good uh, ambitions about you and, and you serving the Lord. They just only trying to get what you have, whether it be your money or time. It could be just conversation with you. All right. So you, you, you have to be uh, with God and God having you through his Holy Spirit. I'll let you know what type of person you're dealing with. And then it says, having the form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Now, Paul is he really coming at Timothy. We get in church and we sing in the choir, we preach, Sunday school, we go to church functions. But just as soon as somebody says, it's time to change something. All of a sudden, you see the frown come on their face. All of a sudden, you see just who they are. You can't even change anything that God has directed you to change. We need to be careful. Every now and then, you need to get out your pattern of it during the day. Go somewhere. Go to the park. You need to change your pattern. Don't drink a soda every day. Drink water all day. You need to change your pattern. Don't get so 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 complacent in your in the way you live, in the way you you see life, to where you can't change. God re requires us to change. Huh? They requires us to change. There's been studies done. I think it's 25 to 30. Uh, people stop learning. It's hard for folks to learn after that age. That's what they said. That's why they say you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Yeah. But those are just studies. That don't mean you can't learn now. Mm -hmm. That's just something that science has, has, has promoted out there for the average Joe, the average person. We need to know that God is, we, are, we, we can learn to lean on Jesus. We can learn to lean on his word. And it can guide us. It can teach us new things. I've learned more in the last two years than I've learned probably the last ten years. But God can teach you new things if you're willing to open open your heart and your mind. Up to him. We all come in here and we didn't have any air conditioning heat. Yeah. I had to hear y'all complain the whole time. <laughs> Would you come in here and we didn't have no lights? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't see. Can't see. Can't see. Yeah, we got sunlight. You can see. We we want to be the reason why I said it because a lot of times we want to be we want to be comfortable. And 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 we love the pleasures of life more than we love God. A lot of folks are going to the mega churches, and it's not the wrong with the mega church. Mega church is that way it's going to go. Uh, but they, they got the cushion seats in there. They got the big choirs of big groups coming in and singing. Uh, they got the, the best preacher, the most highly educated people teaching. It's not the wrong with it. Right. But they won't come to somewhere else that's a little less. Not knowing that. To have all of that, it costs money. Mm -hmm. So when they get involved in those type of services, they don't know that it's going to cost them money. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Somebody got to pay for all you sin and all you indulge. Yeah. Somebody got to pay for it. So, so when we love of ourselves, right. that's what we put our money in our sin. We don't, we don't take heed to the mind of the things of God to where we need to put our focus at. We put our focus on what we love. Mm -hmm. The way to a man's heart is what? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> Do it stop? That's an old saying, right? Mm -hmm. But it's true. If you feel right, he'll keep on coming back. He, he's like a little black kitty cat. They say you feed the kitty cat enough time. They know what time you're going to put the food out and everything. And if you don't have it out, he's standing around the door going, meow. Yeah. Amen. But during the day, he's somewhere else. Amen. So that's, 
that's the way we are as Christians sometimes when we become lovers of ourselves. We only do things that's going to benefit us. And uh, Paul is, is, is reminding Timothy to stay away from this. And then he says, there are uh, denying the power, there are such turn away. For this, for of this sort are they which creep into the houses. Y'all listen to this. And lead captive silly women laden with what? And diverse what? Y'all like, don't want to read that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it being for too. You know, men can be silly too. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, but most men now, all they do is sit around and play these games. Mm -hmm. They sit around and play the game, mm -hmm. and the woman paying all the bills. Mm -hmm. Them silly men. All right. Huh? When I was growing up, they had a cereal that said tricks up for kids. <laughs> so they're playing tricks. And so we, we, Paul is reminding that during this time, they did have women that, that stayed at the temple, that, that, that laid around the temple, that, that enticed the, the preachers, that enticed the, the prophets, to entice folks. And that's how they made their money. Y'all yeah. might well come on, let's start the church down. They hang around, men and women. I don't know where they come in here because there's some good looking women in here. Y'all might as well come on and go with me. The only reason they come to church, I know when I was growing up, the only reason I went to church was because there was some good looking women there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the women do the same thing? Some good looking men? Man got money, riding high, he got the women. I think you know that sometimes people say, well, women need to, we need to go back and put the whatever they have on their head to cover their face up and all that. Don't you ever see something and you wonder what they look like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see some women like that. I, I, I be wondering what one they look like with all that on there. So that ain't stop nobody from lusting. <laughs> that ain't stop nobody. What, 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 what stops you from doing the wrong thing is your, your position in Christ. How, how, much, how much spirit of God you have in you. And if you don't have no spirit of God in you, you'll fall for anything. Yeah, you'll, you'll fall for the kind justice. Come on, women, y'all know. They bought you lunch. Now, all of a sudden, you don't fell in love with it. You don't pay the light bill. Women and men the same way. She fix him a meal. She, she buy him an outfit to put on. She got him looking nice now. Not knowing that she's setting him up for the other women around. See, that's what Paul is trying to tell. See, when you go to lead God's people, there's a difference than just living like a Christian. You got more enticing things happening in your presence as a leader of God's people. Even singing in the choir, ushering in the floor. A usher stands there. They see everything. Amen. So they got some more, some more enticements coming. Because they can see everything. They can smell everybody. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, you come in the door, you go sit down. They got to look at everybody when you come in. Mm -hmm. So, so much, 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 much is required of us as God's people. Regardless of what our positions are, we got to be careful in the time that we're living in. Right. We know we're living in the last days. When will God call your name? All right. All right. If we're living in the last days, we got to be prepared to go. Right. Um, bags are already packed. The old writer said we send it up our temple every day. You better send up them prayers. You ain't gonna send no wood up there. You better send that prayer up there. You better send some good deeds up there. You better hope and pray that your name written in the book of life. Amen. Uh, Y'all be shucking and jiving in here, singing in the choir, living something different outside, preaching, ministering, teaching, and it's just a form of godliness because you really don't believe it. You got to believe what you're teaching, what you're preaching, what you're saying, and what you're praying about. Yeah. It's, it's not just a job for me to be a pastor. I take it and I have to watch what I say to folks all the time because people can misconstrue. I have, I have to watch how I look at folks. That's right. Come on. Come on. <laughs> they might say, Child, did you see how Reverend White looked at me? Child, he married. What did that man? That's what they said. 
So I have to be careful how I entertain. Amen. All the time. Even I have a joking spirit about me. I like to have a good time where I go, but people take it the wrong way sometimes. People, some people take it as a weakness. Some people take it as a way to get in close. Uh, and you know, uh, other people just take it, oh, he's just a fool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have to be careful as in leadership. That's why Paul is, is, is talking to Timothy. He's trying to let him know what he's faced with right. because he's, a, he's young. And, 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 and then being young and being ambitious to do what the Lord wants to do, the devil is setting traps mm -hmm. in our way right. all the time. Yes. Amen. Not just the preacher, but every, all the Christians, right. all the followers of Christ. Mm -hmm. The devil don't want you to follow Christ. Right. Right. He got seven different paths. Uh -huh. Ain't but one Christ wants you to go up. Right. He show you all them paths. And everything you love is at the beginning of that path. Right. Ain't nothing to it. Soon as you get that one thing, ain't nothing else in there but destruction. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing else there but destruction. Yes, right. He says here, he says, uh, of such, for of, of this sort, sort are they which creep in houses and lead captive city women laden with sin and led with diverse lusts. Ever learn. Never able to come to the knowledge of truth. What did, what did this mean when you said, uh, I know some folks that have PhDs, they have their doctorates, and they have doctor in the beginning of their name, preachers. They have much knowledge. They learn a lot, but they don't know God. Amen. They don't know the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. See, the books will tell you one thing, but the books, what the one thing that you need that the books can't show you right. is how to deal with God's people. Right? Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't deal with God's people in any kind of way. Mm -hmm. God's spirit stirs his people. Yeah. You might see them as lost today. God's spirit can stir them. Amen. And they'll be saved. And in your mind, they devils. I heard y'all never heard preachers call them devils. They devils all on just devils over there in the church, all on the devils. No, it's not all devils. It's some devils there now. Yeah. <laughs> but not all of them are devils. Amen. The devil, the devil even came, comes, comes in the presence of God. He can't stay there. So we need to understand that God has his people set in the places that they need to be set in. That is not all about your learning, but you got to learn something. Right. You got to change from your way. You, 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 your life, every day you ought to be able to set what you've learned today. Right. Right. Whether, whether it be good or evil. All right. Come on. Right. You ought to be able to sit and think about what you learned today. Did you progress in your in your faith or did you digress in your faith? Oh, Amen. Huh? Amen. You, 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 need to, you need to consider that. <laughs> and on your Christian journey, you need to consider every day that you learn anything. All right. That helped me on my jobs, on all the jobs I ever had. It helped me to move up. Amen. Right. Amen. I had to learn the first thing I did was know who I was working around. Uh -huh. Who was the boss? Who thought they were the boss? <laughs> who was the slacker? Who was the hard worker? And who had the knowledge of the job? I had to learn all of them. And I surrounded myself and was friendly with everybody. All right. So I had people that were pouring into me that they didn't even know they were pouring into me. Right. So when it came time to do a certain specific job, I remember what they told me. Right. And they poured into me because I showed myself friendly. Amen. It's just something to consider in the last days that we're living in. If you know that you're living in a bad neighborhood and around 8 o'clock somebody goes outside shoot, don't go outside. All right. Stay in the house. Right. If you know, ain't no need to go out there fussing now. Because you might get shot. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Stay in the house.
call law enforcement or whatever. But you not you need to learn your environment. Learn who folks are. I know I know some of your gifts. I know some of your weaknesses. I know what you what I think you're good at. Uh, but why? Because I've been there long enough to learn you, right. to study you. You know what I'm good at. You know my, I have a, some, some, some words I just can't speak. Uh, I can't speak. I have speech impediment. So you have examined me over the years that I've been here. You have examined, you know that I start a song in a minute. And when I get to the part I don't know, I shut it down. <laughs> my wife or brother Eric or so the Timberlake will pick it up and sing it. Then I jump back in at the end. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I do. <laughs> Somebody new might not know that. But you have studied me. So in studying me, you have learned me. Yeah. Yeah. You know somewhere to learn me. Right. You don't know everything about me. But you have you know what, what I'm out to do and what I'm not out to do. Yeah. Um, it's right. just just a learning process that we have. We have to learn how to change. Huh? When the pandemic came, I had a meeting with my deacon. I had a meeting with the church. I said, it's time to change. Some of y'all didn't want to change. Some, some folks didn't even, some folks I ain't even here now because they, they couldn't take the change. But you got to be able to, to spin your wheel. You got to be able, you know how you flip that cord up and you say, here's a table. You got to be able to call it. And the only way you're going to call it is God got to give it to you. Amen. I ain't telling you to go out there and gamble now. Yeah. But you got to be able to turn. If you go out here and have a flat tire, what you going to do? Change. Change. That's right. You ain't going to just let it sit there. Because right. if you let it sit there, we got to call the sheriff. He got to tow it away, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you change it. When, when you go to the doctor and the doctor tell you your blood pressure is high, what you got to do? Take it. You got to change it. You gotta change. Sugar level high. What you gotta do? You gotta change. You're living in the last days. If you don't change, you're gonna die. Amen. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna lose out. Yeah. We're gonna move on. We're gonna move on. And then it says uh, uh, in the eighth verse, he says, Now as Jammers jam and Jammers uh, which stood with Moses, so did these resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobated concerning the faith, but they shall receive no further. For their fathers shall be manifested unto all men as their also was. But thou hast known my doctrine and manner of purpose of faith, long suffering, charity, and patience. Persecutions, affliction, which came upon me at Antioch and Iconium, at this group, that persecuted, persecutions I endured, but
You know what Mike did, you know what preacher did, you know what pastor did the other day, and they let you hear it. And then when you look at me, you look at me cross-eyed. I said, praise the Lord. You be like, he need to go somewhere and sit down. I hear it when he did. Well, the truth was told. What did you do the other day? Come on, now tell me. We are all saved by grace. Not by our might, not by our power, but by the grace of God. We suffer, in, we suffer through persecution because we know that there is an other side to it. Persecution, don't, the ones that persecute you don't live long before it's their turn. And then other folks persecute them and then they forget about you. It's just the way it is. And then he says here, but the evil man and seducer shall, shall wax well. I mean, they ain't going to get no better, right? Amen. Without God's word, without Christ in their life, they can't get no better. Right. They live the life that they want to live. Right. What did he say? Deceiving and unbelieving and being, and being deceived. Mm -hmm. Being deceived, that's all they know to do. When you run up to people that's contentious or you run up to people that's always talking about folks, they're always talking about somebody else's stuff, then you know it ain't no God in them. There's no God in them. Mm -hmm. If I'm always talking about what he don't need in his life, right. if I'm always talking about thinking he ain't something because he's tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always talking about something negative about it. There is, there's no God in me. Right. Not, 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 not Jesus. Right. Not Jesus. Simply, we need to learn how to deal with one another in the time that we're living in. Huh? I don't know. Maybe I'm talking to somebody that's, that's maybe going through something out there tonight. Um, God gave it to me this way tonight to talk to you, to minister to you, uh, because somebody's looking at something wrong. I don't know who it is. Maybe myself. Because I was looking at some stuff wrong the other day. And I was complaining in my own mind. I can't wait till it's over. Can't wait. Well, what's next? <laughs> see, see, we got to learn how to endure through the hit, through the endure the battle. We got to learn how to endure the battle. Prayer, long suffering. That means you got to, you got to, you got to be able to suffer through some stuff. Mm -hmm. That's right. He says, listen, verse fourteen. He says, but continue in thou. Continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of. Y'all see that? Amen. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Reverend Timberlake taught for 46 years here. 46 years he preached here. Continue in the things that he has taught. Huh? Continue in the things that you know is true. 46 years was a long time. Amen. You know what, what he said was right? Because you don't see some things happen that he said was going to happen, right? Amen. Uh -huh. So continue those things that you know is right in the word. Now that's right. In the word. The man will tell you something different. Mm -hmm. But continue in the word that he gave you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Then he says here. Well, I want to give you this other scripture here about the Proverbs about learning. He said in Proverbs 9 and 9, he says, Instruct the wise. Y'all wise tonight? Yeah. Or y'all a fool? Wise. Let me tell you what a fool is. A fool is said in the heart and there is no God. So if you don't believe in God, then you're a fool. Right. So if you believe in God, then you're wise, right? Amen. Okay. Now, this scripture is for you right here. It says, uh, Instruct the wise. That they will be wiser still. Uh, say where you at? Then it said, teach the righteous that they will add to their what? Learn. Uh, now I can call you a fool. I can tell you what the word says. <laughs> the word says you're a fool. The fool is said is in his heart that there is no God. That's what the word says in the song. So, so if he said that, 
then we need to we need to know that we know that there is a God. Yeah. So if you know that there is a God, yeah. and He ain't somewhere on the hill, All right. He's right here inside. Yeah. He talks to you. He'll talk to you. Yeah. yeah, He'll tell you when you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, he'll be a comforter to you. Because yeah. Jesus said, I pray to the Father that He sent a comforter. Yeah. That He sent another. Yeah. Huh? So, so if you wise and you know that there is a God, then you know that the word of God can come to fruition. It's going to come to fulfillment. It's going to come to the end to where everything in the word of God is going to fulfill itself. Right. Amen. So if you know it's going to fulfill itself, then you know what time it is. Come on, man. All right. It's the end time. It's the end time. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Then he says here in the, uh, um, the last three verses, he says, uh, And that have, and that from a child has known the Holy Scripture. He's talking to Timothy now. Mm -hmm. Which are able to make thee what? Wow. Unto what? Yeah. Through what? Yeah. You got to have it all. Yeah. You got to have it all. Yeah. You got to have it. Yeah. It'll make you wise. Mm -hmm. What happens to people when they run out there and they mess up? And they mess up so bad and they say, well... People won't help us do this or that, or, or I never had no help. I've been struggling all my life. But get wise. Mm -hmm. Come on. Straighten up. Change. Listen to somebody. Yeah. Change. Change. <laughs> if the dog is barking outside, it's one of two things going on. Either he wants to come in, or it's something outside you need to cut the light on the look, right? Yeah, in other words, you got to get out of bed. And look out the window. Yeah, <coughs> Unless you got some motion detectors or something going on, you know. But you got to be able to change. Yeah. Why we can't change? Yeah. We stuck. You hold to what that, that is true, but other things in your life have to change. All right. All right. It has to change. Yeah. So, all the scriptures, uh, I'm sorry, verse, uh, verse 16, it says, All the scriptures are what? And is what profitable to for doctrine, mm -hmm. reproof, mm -hmm. correction, mm -hmm. in, instruction, mm -hmm. in what? That's what you're supposed to use. Why we living in a time where nobody won't tell nobody nothing? Huh? If you're a drunkard, you're a drunk. The Bible said, drunkard shall not enter into the kingdom of God. It didn't say if you take a drink. It said if you was a drunk. Huh? Mm -hmm. God hates a lie. Right. That's what the word says. Amen. But guess what? Jesus died for the backslider. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. What did the backslider do? He lied. Right. She lied. She sleep. She 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 he or she does whatever what, whatever caused them to walk away from God. They backslide. Mm -hmm. Come on. Jesus died for you. Yes, he, he married for you. He married to you. Yes, that means he's going to chase you down much because you belong to him. Yeah, uh, I call home, don't know where my wife is. I'm going to go find her. Huh? She look on her phone and can't see where my location is. She's going to go call. Where you at? Yes, fish. <laughs> <laughs> so we know that God's word is used for reproof and correction and instruction. A lot of people try to take one of those words. They try to recruit folks. They try to rebuke folks. Uh, or they try to uh, uh, correct folks. But they don't want to instruct folks in the righteousness. Mm -hmm. There's a difference there. Amen. And then the last verse here says, well, verse 17, it says, um, that the man of God may be what? Perfect. See, everybody looking at me, right? Every word, they hinge on every word I say. I heard folks that tell me, you know, you can mispronounce that. You got that scripture wrong. Okay, that's reproof. That's correction. Mm -hmm. I don't get mad at it. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, because I make mistakes sometimes. Right. Yeah. Sometimes, right now, I can read these words. But when I first started, I had to have the glasses on. I don't know what happened to the light, but it, something changed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we know that God's word makes us a whole and perfect person. Mm -hmm. It's not that you live perfect. But Christ's blood makes you perfect in the eyesight of God. So, and the only way you're going to be perfect 
is to acknowledge your faults and you repent of your faults on a daily basis so that the Holy Spirit can make you perfect. Through what? The Word of God. Amen. Through His saints. Through His people. When people see me, they see me saying something wrong or I'm walking the wrong way or it's being, uh, what I'm saying is being mistook or, or, or people hurt a, a certain way and people come and tell me, you know, if that looks like or that sounds like it could be, I said, thank you. Pray for it. Right. So that I can correct it next time. Mm -hmm. Keep saying the wrong right. stuff. Right. right. See, because I call folks stupid in a minute. <laughs> my wife said, You are not saying it. <laughs> then I thought about it. Yeah. That she right. I had to think about it. Yeah. I said, But they still stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but then as I thought about it, Woo. you know why she was right? Because they God speak. Yeah. We all God's people. Yeah. So we got to watch how we put, I always tell people, you got to watch how you put your mouth on God's people, right? Mm -hmm. So then here I call folks stupid. Right. I don't know whether they be saved or not. They be speaking on the road, but they stupid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the police right up the road there. Yeah. So I don't know whether they be saved or not. So I have to watch how I say certain things. Uh -huh. Because people, people are offended a certain way right. that I say things. I'm not just saying it in turn. Don't mean nothing bad, but people hear it a different way when you yeah. come from a yeah. preacher. That's right. Now, oh. when I go to hood somebody, I have to watch. That's why most times I preach. Y'all know how y'all be doing. So I go to I go to the old lady hood, and y'all ain't saying that. I go to y'all lady hood. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. I know he was like that. I know it. Everything about that. It's just the way it's construed. Then he said, the man of God may be perfect through the furnishing, finishing of what? To all the what? That's what it's about. No works, no faith. No faith, no works. You can't have the works and have faith. You don't have no faith, you gotta have the faith there. Works ain't gonna get you saved. I mean, you can have works, but sometimes you don't have the faith that you're supposed to have. The work won't be done right. Because yeah. your works will be in vain. In vain. In vain. If you don't know Jesus. Amen. If you don't know Jesus. What's need to work? If, if I worked on this bag of field. I worked cutting grass. I worked for 34 years as a well. I'm going to tell y'all like it is. If there was no payday. When I was working. That wouldn't have been no work. <laughs> I work for the Lord for my payday. Huh? You say you call the Lord, Lord God people. I do love you. But I'm looking for a payday. I'm looking for I ain't looking to that, to that, to that picture right there, but that ain't real right there. That ain't real. I'm looking to my father with y'all in heaven. So I'm looking to the real Jesus that's y'all in heaven. My sins. I'm looking for my pay. I don't know what y'all working for. I'm looking for my payday. Uh, that's why every now and then, every day, I had to repent of my sin because I don't want them to come and I ain't ready yet. Y'all got to get ready to stay ready. Yeah, you got to see it for yourself. Payday, yeah, payday coming out the clock. Yeah, yeah. That's all I would pay. That's why we. That's why we here. If, if you ain't here to get yourself prepared to go to wherever Jesus is, then quit wasting your time. Amen. Quit wasting your time. Thank you for preaching. <laughs> 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 quit wasting your time. You got to get your mind back on Jesus Amen. and God's business. Amen. Let us all stay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you, Lord, for your spirit. We thank you, Lord, for your word on tonight. For your Lord, you know your word governs us, corrects us, and improves us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, for you have given us salvation. Lord. Thank you. It is up to us, Lord, yes, Lord. that we keep it. Lord. Yes, yes. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit on tonight. Lord. Yes, Lord. Now, Lord, as we leave this place, we ask the Lord that your spirit lead and guide us, Lord. On the dangerous highways, Lord, till we make it to our destination safely, Lord. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. We pray for all those, Lord, that are sick. Uh -huh. 
and a burden down. Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray for Lord for those families that have lost loved ones. Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. We praise Lord that you would, would come go and comfort them right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask the Lord that there may be some sick amongst us. Lord. Yes, Lord. We ask the Lord that you fix it. Yes, Lord. Lord. right now. Yes, in Jesus' Lord. name. Jesus. Bring the finances, Lord. Yes, Lord. Help us to pay the bills, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask the Lord that in relationship troubles, Lord, yeah. we ask the Lord that you fix that. Lord. Yes, Lord. Maybe some children out there, Lord, we've been praying for. Lord. Yes, yes. We ask the Lord that you fix that situation. Lord. Yes. Wherever it may be, Lord, yes. we ask the Lord that you touch it right now yes. in the name of Jesus. Somebody's losing their mind on tonight, yes. Lord. Somebody's dealing with somebody that have lost their mind yes. on tonight. Yes. Father, we ask the Lord that you re regulate their mind. Lord. Yes, Lord. Help them, Lord. Help In their season, Lord. Yes, Father. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.